over a thousand dollars in sales last time I checked close to 40 sales <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we do a lot of eBay selling in here. And whenever we have a weekend like last weekend, we had a holiday mixed in there. So it kind of turned it into a three day weekend, which means I have a ton of stuff to ship out of here. It's a Sunday night and I'm gonna have to divide it up into two days. We'll do it today. I might do two videos today and maybe, an, I don't know what we'll do and then put them on Monday and Tuesday. So there's too much to put on one video because I do this too much. I talk a little bit too much. Over a thousand dollars in sales last time I checked close to 40 sales. So we're gonna divvy it up at least into two days, maybe even uh, two and a half, and we'll combine Mondays and, and, and ship them all out then. Got a little good news from eBay. A little uh, message came across my screen there. It said, good news, your eBay item has arrived or your buyer's item has arrived. So one of those things that a request was put in for, I just didn't ever refund the money. And I'm like, listen, uh, you know, it's going to show up eventually. And we'll just wait a little while if that's all right with you. And they never responded and it showed up and there's no negative feedback and everybody's happy. Well, I don't know if everybody's happy, but I'm happy so far. <laughs> and then I had another one on the kids store that that happened to as well. And then some more eBay good news as well. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. But we got to get to these sales. So let's take a look. Here's an item I picked up just kind of on a whim at a sale. It was heavily picked over. It was a community sale and I decided not to go to it because it was a community sale. I wanted to hit a few other on the outskirts, figured all my competition would go to it. But then I ran out of sales and I went to it anyways. And this is one of the items I picked up. BWL Red Light Set. I don't even know what it is, but Advanced Benefits for Vibrant, Healthier Looking Skin. And I paid five bucks for it and it sold for $40 plus shipping. I take that back. That was $39 plus shipping. So still a nice profit on that one. Here is that Audubon clock that I was showing the other day. And a viewer said, you know what? A lot of these clocks don't have backs to them. I'm like, really? They don't have a back to them? And now that I'm looking at this, it doesn't have a back to it. You just stick the batteries in there and that's it. I guess the wall acts as the back to it, right? So they were right and I was wrong and I discounted it a few bucks because of it. <laughs> And it sold for $25 plus shipping. I think we paid $1.99 for it. The Goodwill video that was out on uh, Commonwealth Picker not too long ago. But I'm pretty happy with that. $25 plus shipping for a $2 item. Two club head covers from our Lost and Found sale. That was also over there on the Commonwealth Picker channel. The golf course Lost and Found sale. Titleist, not in terrific shape, but not too bad. $10 plus shipping. And this went uh, first class international flat rate international and I'm going to ship it through pirate ship so somebody's paying like $24 or something for this thing even though I'm making maybe around $8 profit sold another head cover I almost forgot about this because this was a bonanza sale and this went for 10 bucks so not a huge sale but I'll take it so that's going to be that was 10 bucks free shipping so it's going to be a little bit less I think it was maybe it was plus shipping all right, we're going to add those two to our list. I had to carry it over because we filled up that first sheet already. Have a few more that are going to go out probably on tomorrow's video. Lost and found. $150 investment. So far, $199 back. So we're almost at a $50 profit and still have tons of stuff to go. Guys, this is Homeschool Hustler Turner here. We've got a Homeschool Hustler store sale. Let's go get it. It's Eeyore with bunny ears. And it's sold for $12 plus shipping. But first, I'm gonna show show y'all my shoes. So they're tie shoes, and I usually usually don't wear tie shoes. And it has the Mario right there, old school Mario game inside Mario. And on this one, it has Bowser inside, and the little old school Nintendo controller keychain on the side of the shoe. Bye. I had one more I was going to show you while well, I had the stationary camera, but I forgot. I don't usually pick up the Sperry's unless I don't have to do anything to them. So these were in pretty good shape. They weren't perfect, but they were in good enough shape that I didn't have to do anything to them. And I grabbed them for a couple bucks, sold for $20 plus shipping. I didn't even have to list them. 
Usually Blue Ridge Mama lists the shoes because I just hate it. I don't know why I hate it so much, but I sure do. Next one is one of my favorites to sell, and I don't know why, because there's not that much money in them, although you can find some money in some of them. That is Atrax, and we've been selling them pretty good lately. They're picking up just a shade. Most of them are worth nothing. Blondie, that's not it. It's Blue Oyster Cold. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. There it is right there. Most of them aren't worth much, but hey, $9 free shipping on this one, 280 medium mail ship. And we're into it for next to nothing, pure profit at this point. Next item is in the back, and I am so glad that so many people just don't sell this kind of stuff because I usually make pretty good money on this kind of stuff because people just aren't willing to ship it. And it's going to be interesting to see how I ship these. So I paid $5. We're in great shape. The fin on the back is missing. But people like to decorate with these things, lake houses, maybe even bars up at the lake, you know, something like that would like to... Take something like this and decorate maybe a man cave. And that's what we're going to do here. Well, that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to ship these things. It's going to take me a little while. $80 plus shipping on this. So we'll make like $65 profit on these. Maybe a little bit less. And we'll have to put a little time into shipping these. I might try something new with this. I might try a layer of bubble between them. And put the flat sides together or maybe turn them sideways. And then put wrap around them. The shrink wrap. I think I might try that. And then put them in the heavy duty bags. These are sturdy. I might just try and experiment with it. Either that or we'll just do the world's biggest Franken box. Because I don't have that box right now anyways. I did have it. And I had it for these skis. But I ended up using it for something else. So who knows. We might go out and find one at the dump today too. We'll see. I'm going to leave them right there for now. I think it's a good idea to at least peek at some of those. There are some that will go upwards of $250. And even if you're not willing to ship those for a $65 profit, I bet most people are willing to ship it for a $200 profit. I certainly am. The next item is over here in one of the drawers. I think it's in the part-time picker drawer. I think. Let's look. All right. Let's try this one. Oh, oh yep. There they are. These paper clamps, they're, they're vintage paper clips, paper clamps. And I'll tell you what, I think, and I, I can't be certain of this, but looks of the address, I'm thinking this is going to go on some kind of production somewhere, somehow, because it's going to Southern California. And the address I see tells me maybe that's what's going to happen with these things. Not positive, but it's very possible they could end up in some kind of uh, production of some sort. A movie, TV, something like that. Who knows? And I think I paid a dollar a piece for them just because I thought they were cool and they sold for just under $15 plus shipping on these. I guess I'll show them to you. There you go. They're just old paper clips, big clamps. I just thought the boxes were cool. Next one is media as well. And I can't remember where I got this one from, to be honest with you. But, oh, you know what? I do know where I got this one. I bought it. I got, You know what? When you have the garage sale channel like I do, People are much more critical of the garage sale channel. Some of the comments I read are like, oh my gosh, really? I'm an awful human being because <laughs> they're always being critical of trying to get a better deal for something. And now I remember where I got this one because somebody was really critical of me trying to get a great deal on these DVDs from this family who was literally shutting down. They were shutting down their garage sale. And I said, what are y'all going to do with this stuff? They're like, We're taking it to the Goodwill. I'm like, you're going to give me a great deal then, right? And they they were upset with me for lowballing this person on a whole box full of dvds but that's where that one came from i think i paid ten dollars for the box it wasn't a huge box and it wasn't even a great box most of them went to my antique booths and a few of them were selling here on ebay and this was a metallica dvd brand new in a package i think no it wasn't it's used and it's ten dollars plus shipping on this one and this might have gone to a viewer let me look nope not to a viewer at least not that i can tell so $10 free shipping on that one. So that one's just about going to make us, it is going to make us our $5 investment back. It's a cool sale. Pick these up for a dollar a piece at the flea market. Mm. Just about when I started YouTube. So May 2019. I think I have a video. Maybe with my nephew. I can't remember. I think maybe that's when I found them and I went back the next week. But anyway, really cheap. And these sold for $34 plus shipping. Whenever you find the one that's a specialty of some sort, hard to find, you know, they'll sell. I sold a few of these early sets for 50 bucks a pop. And then I've had to reduce it a little bit to get the other ones to sell. It was $34 plus shipping. 
and I did not put them all out there at the same time. I sold the first few off, and then the last couple I had, I put out together. So usually if I have multiples of the same type of item and I'm the only one selling them, I'll only put out one at a time. So pinball, $2.99 plus shipping. Here's one that uh, took a long time to sell. Grumman F14 Tomcat, pure profit at this point after fees and shipping $11.42. I think this one went out on our little sale. This one barely made us any money at all. Under $15 sale, and it was a goodwill purchase. I used to buy the Jack, whenever you see that golden bear, it's Jack Nicholas. And I used to buy those shirts all the time, the tight fitting ones from the late 70s. It reminded me of my dad and my uncles, and they loved Jack Nicholas. And this is a sweater, and it has nothing on the front at all. It's plain Jane. So I took a picture of the back and put that out there as my picture thinking maybe you know people recognize that symbol and they'll buy it but nobody did i don't know it's not a big surprise that this one didn't sell very quickly but it is a bit of a surprise that it went as low as it did we're still going to make like three bucks on it but i put it on clearance to get it out of there but those old shirts those tight fitting polo shirts with i think the four buttons that go real high those will sell for decent money if they don't go for as much as they used to i used to be able to get 30 bucks for those things now they go for a little less, but they'll only sell if they're really unique. Crazy colors, purples and yellows and stripes going this way or this way. They're usually going this way. So at any rate, we'll make a few bucks and I'm glad it is gone. Ivan contributing to our 12 days of Christmas auctions. This one's really cool and I didn't write down the price there, sorry. But uh, we all signed it and it is a Rockwell, an Inaman Rockwell. I think this is the Rockwell self-portrait right there. At any rate, that is headed your way, Ivan, and thank you as always. And we are definitely putting together the amounts and the thoughts on how we're going to give this money away in the next month or so. One going to Jennifer, one going to Teresa, and I know a lot of you will be upset with me, but I didn't, I don't know if I told this story or not, but I did acquire 50 more in a man, and it was from a drug rep. <laughs> and I paid up a little bit for them, so the prices are a bit higher over there on commonwealthpicker.com. I think it's the same price maybe plus shipping i can't remember anyway these are up there and i'm doing 10 at a time because if i put 50 out there they'd be gone like that and i don't really want to do a whole video reading 50 in a man comments so at any rate Teresa and jennifer got one and i think four more have sold we'll put that on the next video and there's maybe three or four left by the time you're hearing this there'll probably be none left but you know what, we'll put 10 more out here in the next day or so. So keep checking back and you might be one of those who get it. All right, we will go back out there, do a little something, probably Reagan, maybe Turner. If we haven't done Turner's, we've probably already done Turner's. I usually put that in a little bit ahead of time, even though I film it after. We hope you guys have a great start to your new year. One thing I haven't asked in a while, and I'm curious, give me your best find in the last week. What's your best find in the last week? A lot of you aren't sourcing right now. Some of you are still going to thrift stores all the time. So if you're going out and sourcing still, what's your best find in the last week? If you haven't been, tell me your best sale in the last week. And I love to read through those, and that's how I gain knowledge. You know, I don't probably watch as many videos as I used to, which is where I used to gain all kinds of knowledge. I don't have the time to sit down and watch four a day like I used to do when I wasn't doing YouTube. I still like to catch up on one or two, so I'm always increasing my knowledge. So one way for me to do that is for me to read your comments below or your Instagrams or whatever, and I like to do that. So thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Reagan. How are you doing today? Good. We've got a couple of sales out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store, and if you go over, we still have not done this. It's been a while. We need to give away this ornament right here. She's got the second one that she made. And so we're going to do that tonight and put it on that channel maybe in the next day or so. Mm -hmm. By Tuesday night maybe, I hope. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that for sure. And uh, if you go over there, if you did already enter, you can go over there and check it out see if you win. Probably by Tuesday night is my guess. So, all right, we got two sales. What do we got? Uh, Bobby got the League of Things Mini shirt and Kim got the Grey Commonwealth Picker shirt. Awesome. And Bobby left a message that we read. We're just going to summarize it for you here. Bobby, thank you all for sending us that message. It's very nice. And we certainly wish you good luck. You do have a YouTube channel, Star Sales. All one word, Ragan, with two R's. Star Sales with two R's. All right, store is bargains underscore by underscore Bobby. And uh, Kim, thank you as well for those two purchases. We appreciate it. And Ragan? Bye.
Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at com CommonwealthSticker.com. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I am in Virginia just to go and run the trails Found myself missing you more times than I can count Rolling on just like a stone, nobody could tell me Where the boundaries in my lifestyle and I could be free Nobody could tell me Fancy bars while living in cars ain't nothing too complex. We're everywhere that you go, a little further to the next, but you keep on rolling. Just like a breeze. Sit up and down the coast, you know that nothing stays the same. If you keep looking at the past, then you'll never change. Well, here tomorrow, gone the next, just let life pass by. You keep telling yourself you're only here for the ride.